Football's a frustrating game, uh, you put in a performance like that and get nothing out of it at the end of the day. Yeah, Paul, we've, I've said on it before that you know, that's why you love football and that's why you know sometimes you hate football because sometimes you just don't get the rub of the green. The gods aren't smiling down on you and today I thought in the first half they could have gone in a couple of goals ahead and then in the second half we've, we've battled and we deserve to get something out of that but in the end they've come away with the three points again. You've turned the tide in the second half really, I mean apart from the goal that they took, uh, I don't think they really troubled you? No, in the second half, no, in the first half they caused a few problems, we, we spoke about that at half time and made a few adjustments and we, we seemed to cope a lot better in the second half and started to get the ball down and impose ourselves on the game. Um, but it was a similar tale to like a, the last few games where I don't know if it's a bit of fatigue or, or, or just just too many games coming in. But we just lacked we just lacked that little bit of something today, and we needed something different, and it just just wasn't happening for us. And uh, Steve Jones, normally reliable, gets the ball from a back pass and around the keeper, and you think here we go, and he doesn't get it. Yeah, I think you know when Jonesy like doesn't bury one of them. I think you know it's not going to be your night. Normally, you'd burst the net with one of them, and that's football, isn't it? You know, you get a chance like that on the game on Saturday, and he'll probably bury it like nine times out of ten. Just wasn't our night. Yeah. Um, showed you can can compete with the best sides in this league and uh, play some nice football as well at the time. Yeah, we've we've played all the, all the top teams uh, in the last few weeks, and it's it's been close with all of them. You know, one goal, two goals here and there. And a lot of those teams have played in a similar in a similar way, with a similar specific like tactic, and we've tried to play in a different way. And we you know we've matched them. They've been good good games and good competitions. And like I said before, you know we just lack that little bit of something else. That, that, that little bit of magic and uh, I think that's probably down to fatigue and the number of games that we've had recently. Surely if you had been a bit fresh you would have had a better result in the last three or four games? Yeah I think so, I think so. That's not an excuse but we've had, we have had a lot of games recently and I think if those have been spread out over the previous three or four months then I, th I think you'd have seen a, a little bit more energy and a little bit more magic from some of our like key players and uh, that's just not happened in the last few games. But, you know, we're proud of the lads and credit to the lads because they, they've put in a good shift in the second half. Having had a, had a difficult game in the first half, they've put in a good shift and they've, they've raised the game. And you know, against teams that play in this style, it, it, you know, it can, it can be frustrating, it can be difficult, and it's a physical effort, but we, we've not lost our heads. We've tried to stick to, to what we do, and that's getting the ball down and play, and that's fair play to the lads in there, you know. All credit to. Though you're not getting the results, uh, you can still take heart from the performances. Yeah, you can take heart from the performances. You know, at the end of the day, we don't like losing. I don't like losing. Paul doesn't like losing, and none of those lads in there like losing. You know, we don't want to get beat. As simple as that. And we've got beat tonight, so we're never going to be happy at getting beat or losing a game. You know, no matter how we've performed, uh, that that's just you know the end of the matter for me. But we can take heart in the performance, yeah, definitely. More from the effort and the character that we show than anything else. Take this into against Ashton Athletic on Saturday. You sure it's not tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got a game on Saturday, so um, see what that brings us. Hopefully we can uh, forget about this defeat and get some three points and start climbing up the table and uh, get in the Champions League places. 1-0 uh, to you tonight, uh, congratulations, it, uh, the result meant a lot to you. Yeah, definitely, I think you know, I think we had a lot riding on it, um, especially in light of you know, Bootle drawing with Alsager at home, it, it's a big three points for us. It, it, you know, it was always, we were always under pressure to, you know, to, get, to get the result, but it is a little bit of a relief after the, you know, the chances that we had throughout the game, so you know, really pleased to get the win. Yeah, you had two or three good chances in the first half. Yeah. Didn't take them. Did you feel it was slipping away during the second? Yeah, a little bit. I thought I thought we should have put the game to bed first half. We had three or four really good opportunities. Um, should have come in th maybe three nil up at half time. So you know, from that side of it, it's a little bit disappointing. But I thought we dug in um, and we li limited AFC Liverpool to, to you know to 
you know, few chances. Um, so from that side, from a de defensive point of view, we're, we're really pleased with that. And we always felt that the the opportunity will come for the winner. And you know, luckily, you know, we got that, and we're pleased. Yeah, you must have been pleased by your substitution because he was only on the pitch for ten seconds before he delivered the free kick, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, it worked out quite well. He's got a great left foot, um, great delivery, and good, good head back across goal. Um, I mean, to be fair, it was it was very similar to the one first half that was disallowed. Um, but like, like I say, just relieved to, to get the win. Yeah, your views on that disallowed goal? I thought it was questionable. I, I mean, he, he told one of my players that he st he, there was a block, but he, but he told me midway through the first half that someone had hold of him. So he, he's, he's given us different different stories as to why he's disallowed the goal. So to me, that it doesn't really add up. But um, like I say, we've we've managed to get the winner. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dwell on the referee. And it makes it an exciting end towards the end of the season for lots of the teams still in the hunt for promotion. Absolutely, I mean, from a neutral point of view, to, there's probably still five teams down to Winsford that that have got a good opportunity of winning the league. Um, and I think I still think there'll be a few more twists and turns before you know before that that final whistle comes. So we've just got to keep plugging away from our point of view and said to the lads, if you know, if we have to grind out one 0 wins till the end of the season, then that's what that's what we'll do, and I'll be happy with that as long as we, you know, we keep doing well. So, yeah, very exciting. Not not so good for my heart, like, but uh, from a neutral point of view, yeah, very exciting. One 0 to Runcorn Town, but uh, didn't quite get the result. Uh, your performance deserved. No, uh, something similar to Winsford, to be quite honest with you. Uh, it's just uh, direct football. Uh, you know, I'm not taking nothing away from my lads tonight. They put a good shift in. Okay, you know, uh, they've defended. When the, you know, again, it's it's deja vu. Uh, we, we've played. When we've got the ball down, Paul, we've played and we've opened them up. Uh, but, you know, I've just said to the lads, last year we was a long, long way, as in performances and things like that. You know, I said to them, we were that far away last year. I feel this year we're that far away, daft as it sounds. When we go and compete against, the, you know, your bootles of this world, your paddiums, your own corns now, uh, it's a credit to my lads, mate. It's a credit to my lads. And, you know, tonight it possibly should have been a draw. Uh, you know, people might, you know, for 90 minutes, my ears were burning. Uh, because I think, you know, I, I've been bad over the time in my life. But I think Simon beats me, to be honest, because... Uh, he complains for everything, mate. Uh, but, you know, that's part and parcel of football. Uh, I'll have a little shimbag with him in a minute. But it's a nice performance, mate. Credit to me, lads, that we, we stuck at it and we tried to play. And I've, to be fair, you know, if I, I've just said to the lads, if I ever asked you to go in, if I ever come in as manager and say, go route one, go route one, go route one, don't play football, just get it there as quickly, I'll be down. Because we try and play football in the right manner. Uh, and again, you know, the, the lads, I, I, it's the beast I've got. They'll try and play anyway, regardless. It, you know, they're not a team for knocking it long. They won't knock it long. OK, the last two minutes, you're going to try and put balls into the box. But credit to the lads tonight. I thought he put a good shift in for the club as well. Possibly the only criticism is they didn't get a shot off maybe when they could have. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, again, that comes down to decisions that Paul, uh, you know, you'd ask lads to go out and perform and have a little go for you. And, you know, but... I'm not going to criticise them, Paul. They're putting shifts in. Last year, like you said, last year, you know, you'd have probably looked at probably four or five nil the way they were playing, uh, but we've defended ever so well. Uh, you know, I've just been in to see the referee and I've just thanked him, to be fair, because that was a difficult game for you, that matey, believe me. Uh, but credit to him as well. Uh, but tonight, I, I, you know, pleased with the lads' performance and I, and, and I feel sorry for them that they possibly should have got. Even against Winsford, we should, should have got a draw, uh, and we certainly should have got a draw tonight. Um, <clears throat> had to defend well against uh, one of the more prolific sides in this division. Well, they've got three players up there, or four, well, three players that I know of, between them got 100, uh, 100 goals or something like that. Uh, but again, it, it proves what my team's about uh, defensively, uh, because they never got a sniff. But, you know, if you want to try and play football, then yeah, but if you go and route one all the time, then... You know, you have to deal with whatever comes into your box uh, because they never opened us up once, to be quite honest. It was just turning on us, turning on us, turning on us and getting second balls. But, you know, I, thought, I felt we dealt with it all night well, to be fair. But, you know, they've just gone and put one ball in the box, which, again, if I look at the video, I look at the game, and I've just said to the referee, you know, it's a hard game for them, but 
that wasn't a foul anyway. That wasn't a foul. I mean, the kid up front for the I would, for every time you go near him, he falls. So I've just said to him, to be fair, if he stayed on his feet a little bit better, he'd be a better player. But, you know, regards the game as a whole, I thought it was, it was a nil-nil game all over. Uh, for however, you know, if you talk about uh, possession, Paul, I've got a stiff neck again, mate. Uh, but, you know, I'm just disappointed with the lads because they, got a, they did they put a good shift in. Yeah, do you? Last four, uh, three, last three out of the last four games, you've uh, played top sides in this division, and you've run them all the way. And yeah, but I've just said, I, I said again, I said, you know, to the lads then, I just said, um, I would like to have us played all the, the same amount of the games if you like. When everyone else has played, I'd like to of us to play when you know when the lads are not as fatigued as much. I'd like to be on an evil keen, you know, but I can't do nothing about the weather. And we wouldn't have been far away, but I'm telling you right now, we wouldn't have. Uh, but obviously, when you've got games in hand and you're ch changing fixtures here, here and everywhere, then, you know, one fatigue comes into it. And, you know, you, you, it's fits and starts, fits and starts. But, you know, tonight, and the, to be fair, the last four games have done ever so well, to be quite honest with you. And um, we just haven't had the rubber degree. Uh, um, do you feel you got away with one in the first half when they had a claim for a penalty? No, it wasn't a penalty. Because at the end of the day, if you have players going down for every five minutes or five seconds for every time they get, then the referee's going to go and doubt, isn't he? He's going to go, go say, well, he's falling every time he gets the ball, or they're falling every time they go for the ball. So, no, it's not a penalty. It was just one of my defenders being strong, stronger than them. No, it wasn't a penalty. Uh, they probably argue over the goal. The goal was a foul. So, Sean Lake's being stopped from his tracks, regardless you know, what, what they're saying or what the lad added in. The lad on the line has stopped Sean Lake. Which happened the other night, to be fair, and that's that's why it was a foul. Nothing to do with the lad in the ball, the lad on Sean Lake who stopped him doing his run. Right, uh, take this performance into Saturday against Ashton Athletic. Hope yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, again, Paul, you know, we know what the lads are all about now. These lads have a go, and they just they, they deserve a little rub of the green. You know, people might say now, say, well, look, we haven't started. Yeah, we haven't scored goals, but we're still creating chances. Uh, and we'll turn again. Uh, I have got no doubt about that. Uh, we've got, again, a few games in hand, so we've come to Saturday. Uh, but it's a different game altogether all because, no disrespect to Ashton, they're fighting for their lives. Uh, and I know what it's like, to, to a certain degree. Um, you know, we'll, we'll treat them with the respect that they deserve. And, you know, we'll put on a show, for, uh, hopefully for our fans, and hopefully turn that around and uh, get, get the, the points that we deserve. But tonight, you know, I'm really, really pleased with the lads. I thought they put a good shift in against the team that just wanted to go week one. Well, uh, better luck for Saturday. I hope you get more of a rub of the green. I hope so for myself, Paul. Thank you.